Now, most of you might not know this, but the gaming industry is a multi-billion dollar business, reeking in over $150 billion in revenue every single year. You have game companies that are pulling off record-breaking profits every single year. But one thing that has been very contradicting is the massive amount of layoffs this past couple of years. This year and the year before that, we've seen over eight to 12,000 layoffs in the gaming industry. Why is that happening? Why is there so much firing happening in game companies when they're making so much money? Hmm, very strange. And I think it's a matter of worker exploitation and cutting costs to ensure that, oh, look, we have we have made profit this year. But of course, we're not going to mention that we had to fire an entire workforce for that. We've seen even the, uh, uh, the, the, the complete closure of other game studios as well in the in the making. Now, this is all bad news, and I feel bad for all the, all the, all the very talented people uh, in the industry that have lost jobs. I wish them all the best. I hope that they find the next big thing in their career. But there is some good news, and, and this kind of news is something that I hope will ripple across the industry and, and provide the necessary impact to make other game studios to do the same. And that is Bethesda Game Studios has officially, is officially the first Microsoft game developer to fully unionize under the Communication Workers of America, forming a wall-to-wall -wall union of developers, uh, including artists, engineers, programmers, and designers. Microsoft has on its own recognized this union. Now to make you understand what a unionization is, because it's not something that's very, <laughs> Not a lot of us know what it is in the Middle East. I don't think we have unions. But unions is kind of like a, it's a, think of it as a collective organization of workers in a company who come together uh, to represent themselves, to negotiate with their employer for better working conditions, for better pay, for workers' rights, all these things, basically. Um, and so a unionization like this is a great thing for developers in the industry where uh where game studios can often find themselves in this volatile state where they didn't sell enough game copies or their life service didn't give them enough profits that season and they end up cost cutting and laying off workers this type of unionization protects those workers from being laid off and provides them with better working conditions. Uh, it helps provide also, um, it helps avoid crunch culture as well and, and, and many other worker benefits. And this is something I hope, I really, really hope to see uh, ripple across the gaming industry. I hope other game studios uh, implement some form of unionization for their developers because we're, we've suffered thousands upon thousands of layoffs in uh, recent years. Uh, and at the same time, we're seeing these game studios, these big publishing companies uh, reeking in record-breaking profits. This is, it's, it's so contradicting, you know? And I, I, it's a shame because at the end of the day, I really believe, I truly believe that the success of a game studio isn't isn't the products it is the people and this has always been a fact people remember for example some of the most iconic game franchise the ones that have been very successful and it's usually because of that talented team that was involved during its production when we look at for example the success of Elden Ring we don't we don't give success to Bandai Namco the publisher no we give success to Hidedaka Miyazaki, he's the one that we credit for what we have uh, when it comes to like games like Elden Ring and Dark Souls. It is the people, it is the creative team that's involved. And those are the people that we need to protect. Those are the people that need assurance uh, of workers' rights, of compensation, 
of not losing their job. Unionization assures this. And I'm glad that Microsoft has taken the necessary steps. And I hope many other game studios, many big publishers do the same. We need to protect our creative developers because it's a shame to see what has happened this past year. 8,000 jobs completely thrown out and it never really seemed to justify itself. It's a shame. It really is. But with that, guys, we're going to take a short break and we'll be talking. We're going to be covering more news from the world of entertainment right here on The Evening Buzz. Stay tuned. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.